In this session, we are going to see about the configuration part of policy based routing. We have already seen about the theory part behind this PBR that is a policy based routing. If you haven't looked into it, the link is given in the description. If you want, you can check to that. All right. So this is our topology that we are going to use. We have some couple of routers over here and two computers. That is two VPCs for checking the response. I'm using a routing protocol OSPF for all the routers over here for reachability purpose. Okay. And then we are going to configure PBR in R2. So this is what we are going to do. And our main concept over here is that one particular network in order to reach one particular destination, the traffic should move via PBR. So to make it a simple process, what I would suggest is here, the traffic from 10.0.0.10, that is from PC1 to reach 5.5.5.5, that is in R5 router, one of the loopback interfaces, we are going to configure a PBR, that is a policy based route. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Suppose, um, let's see if we get the traffic from here, we have configured a PBR, then the traffic should be moved to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, okay. With the next stop, that is the next stop is 23.3, that is pointing towards the R3 router. So this is what we are going to configure in PBR. Okay, so whenever the traffic that has come from 10.0.0.10 in order to reach a destination of 5.5.5.5, it has to follow the PBR process. Whatever that we are giving it in, for example, I have given it here as 23.3. Um, if you want, you can also change it to 24.4. So this is what we are going to do. If it with the consent source to destination, we need to point where it need to go. Okay. So this is what we are going to do now. That is what a policy based route is about. Before uh, looking into PBR, there are certain set of things which is to be done. For configuring your PBR, the first thing is that reachability should be there for a source to destination. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure um, OSPF routing protocol as per here. That is all the routes I'm going to advertise with the area zero. Okay. In all the routers. So it should be here, next here, right uh, one neighborship is formed r2 everything is fine then we need to confirm it with r5 that's it so i hope all the interfaces are up as of now let's check it from r1 whether we can able to reach 5.5.5.5 yes it is fine yeah now we got uh, getting a response from here i can able to reach 5.5.5.5 from pc1 let's try for 55 that is another one loopback interfaces over here. That is show AP interface brief. There is another loopback which has been advertised. I am going to check that also. 55.55.55.55. Okay, I can able to reach that also. Let's confirm the same with uh, PC2. Next is 55.55.55.55. Okay, so everything seems to be fine. I can able to reach all the process. The next thing what we need to do is we need to check in which way the traffic flows on. So that I'm going to do a trace for 5.5.5.5. .5 .5 .5 .5. So 
So it's moving via 24.4. 24.4 is a connectivity between R2 and R4. So going to R2, I'm going to check the routing table over here. The routing table says it is going via 24.4 with the interface of fast Ethernet 1 slash 0. Okay. So let's check it for 55. 55 also it says it is going with this interface with this IP followed by this interface. So this is what the information is about. So that is whenever the traffic uh, from R1 that is if you are trying with R1 in order to reach a destination of 5.5.5.5 the traffic will go from R1 to R4 and then to R5. So this is the high uh, preference given routes. Okay. So now as per our requirement whenever the traffic that has been originated from here it needs uh, originated from here to reach 5.5.5.5 we need to configure a PBR to move the traffic towards 23.3 okay so first thing what we need to check is the reachability I am having a reachability I have checked now next I am going to configure ACL go to R2 router where we are configuring a PBR I'm going to create an access list IP access list extended um, ACL PBR okay next is permit IP host it says 10.0.0.10 with a host of 5.5.5.5 .5 .5 .5 .5. Any IP, any, any. Okay. The next thing I'm going to configure a route map. A route map. Mm. PBR route map. Alright. So, PBR route map. Match uh, IP address. Here, yeah, IP address means it indicates an access list. So I'm going to give a access list here. So access list is ACL PBR. Match IP address this one. If this matches what we need to do going to um, set IP. If this matches we are going to set the next hop of next hop as 23.3. That's it. Just check the show route map. Sorry, different. Okay. If you check the route map, it has been indicated as the IP address, which means an access list. It has to match this access list. Then it will forward the traffic over here. So that's it. We have done. The final thing, what we need to do is we need to configure it on the interface. Okay. Fast Ethernet. Here I am um, giving wherever the incoming traffic from where it has to come, we need to configure that. So, here in this topology, this is the incoming interface. Here, IP policy route map. What's the route map name? I'll go down the route map name. Here it is PBR route map. Okay. So, it will be as So we have done everything now let's check now that I am trying to ping the same information how the policy goes on we will check it before that I am going to debug IP policies recommend things so, yeah. now I am going to ping this interface what happens let's check that if I try to ping it's been showing as with this source, the traffic is coming in order to reach this destination in this interface. Okay. With a length of 84, the policy is being rejected, no match, normal forwarding is being processed. So this is what we see. I checked with the policy based route, it doesn't match, then I am forwarding it to the normal IP routing. Okay. 
the same thing we are going to see for 5.5.5.5 with count of 1 count 1 is enough so that we will not see more sort of log messages over that I can able to reach let's check source with the 10.0.0.10 with the destination of 5.5.5 in this interface I have received okay uh, you can see here the policy is being matched then it has been forwarded to the gateway of 23.3 the policy is routed so you can get a clear view about this I hope uh, that with the consent source to consent destination if the traffic is been moving it is been forwarding or it accepts the policy based route before checking into the normal routing table okay so this is what it does you can also confirm it by trace 5.5.5.5 you can see it has been moving on 23.3 instead of 24.4 but before if you look into that means I can show you um, where it might be one second um, I think so I haven't made a trace okay just leave it if you have made a trace over there before some time it will be shown here as 24.4 instead of 23.3 so this is what happens you can check it from here pc2 can show a clear trace of that mm, check with ping 5.5.5.5 okay with this source in order to reach this destination it, uh, information is getting on this interface with the length of 84 the policy is being rejected no matching the normal forwarding so this is what happens here okay so if you try a trace 5.5.5.5 it has been moving to 24.4 instead of 23.3 since it doesn't match a policy based route so this is what happens over here okay so uh, how to check the policy in which way if we want to check means you can check whether policy is there or not by show IP policy you can see what is the policy that is being configured and what is the interface that is being configured over here okay then show running configuration interface if you check it over here it will be showing as IP policy route map it is being mapped to the route map show route map here the route map says it has an access list of ACL PBR if it matches it will forward this to this so we need to check this ACL show IP access list if you check this with this consent source to destination it will be permitted other than that everything is being denied so this way you need to check in this order so that it will be a clear way of checking the policy based route whether it is configured or how to check or what are the information that has been uh, policy based route used so these are the things that we need to check it over here there are still more some other steps which we can do in policy based routing for example you can see the logs over here if you have seen the logs clearly I might have showed you about a length the length is 84 bytes the length is 64 bytes what all this information is about you can filter based on this length also with a minimum and a maximum length I'll just show you an example of this okay now match length after length you can able to see the minimum packet length here what i'm going to set is about you can use what are the length if you want i'm using now 600 to the maximum of this is my maximum length so the packets uh this is a packet size of 600 to the maximum of this 
it will be policy based which means you can check it here show route map with this acl source and destination with the source of 10.0.0. .0 .0 .0, you can see it here it has to match this access list with source to destination and at the same time the data should be have a length of minimum 600 but not be more than this value if it matches it will forward a packet based on the policy based route or else it will not forward a packet okay uh, let's have a quick overview by default if i try to do this thing it will not be policy based route even if it is 5.5.5.5 .5 .5 .5. See here, with the length it has been rejected, but at the same time, um, if you can set a length of thousand, I keep here. You can see it is it matches the length. Here it is thousand twenty eight, and the packet has been forwarded. Okay, so the information that is being given in the PCs over here, the input that we are giving given here is a exact data value it doesn't belongs to any sort of headers but while the packet that reaches with to the uh, routers it will have some sort of header values the value of or a length that is mentioned here you can see here as length this includes even the header value that's why you can see this difference there i have given a thousand here it is thousand twenty is the reason behind that is only um, it chooses 1028 because of a header values but while in case of PCs it gives only the data value so that's the difference over here you can able to filter based on this so I hope you understand what I'm saying uh, in the PBR session uh, this way you need to configure a PB policy based routing for any specific source to destination and that's it about PBR but still if you need to know about uh, Locally originated routes, there is only one comment which I will discuss about in the next session. That's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.